All right, we just got in a special delivery. This just came in. We got Corey from Toyota of Melbourne, Corey right? Corey with a K. Corey with a K. See, he's special. He's not just a regular Corey. Yes, sir. Oh, look, they're Ferrari again. Oh, look, oh, oh shoot. Yeah. There you go, right there. Yeah. There's love, there's hate, lies and games, faith. All right, so we're going to take the Mazda CX-5 Grand Touring out to Toyota of Melbourne, and we're going to compare it to a 2022 Toyota RAV4 Hybrid. So let's see how this goes. Where'd you park him? Big dog. <laughs> What's up? Where'd you park him at? We right over here. So that's my SE that I just bought. And I have an XLE. It's right here on the porch. I'm going to bring it down and park it right next to me. All right. That's what's up. <laughs> All right. So let's look at the, the CX-9 backup camera. Go like that. I mean, CX-5 backup camera. Sorry. Okay. Right. And then there's the RAV4 pulling up. So let's go ahead and review this thing and see what it's like. So we got Corey from Toyota of Melbourne, right? Corey with a K. Corey with a K, see he's special. He's not just a regular Corey. <laughs> All right, so I, this has been like a, a long time coming. I've been wanting to like like interview you and get you on the channel for a while. Mm -hmm. Cause I remember you cut me a really good deal on a Corolla before, but the wife kind of vetoed it, so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Unfortunately, happy wife, happy life, so yeah. I, I understand. <laughs> All right. So, all right, man, what do you have for us here today? Okay, so today we have an XLE Hybrid RAV4. Okay. Uh, there's nothing additional added, so everything that you're going to see here is what comes stock in the Hybrid XLE. Okay. Um, as far as I can tell, just off the top of my head, these are 17s alloys. Nice. You have dual climate control on the interior. Oh man, and you they know? they count they come with the cloth seats though. Yeah. Oh. yeah. If you want if you want the soft text, it has to be the XLE Premium. Okay. Because technically, this has all the same equipment that that one has. Oh, okay. okay. But man, okay, so you just got that one so there. I literally just bought that yesterday. Okay. <laughs> so see, there's somebody that believes in his own yeah. product right there. Okay. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right, now I love the wheels on yours. The wheels oh, on yours see, look nice. Mm, okay. Uh, so what's the difference? I thought the XLE was like a higher trim. The XLE is a higher trim than this, technically. Yeah. Now the SE just came out this year. Oh, so okay. We didn't have that trim level on a hybrid before. It was just the XLE. Right, so right. If you don't. Basically, this one is mm. if you wanted a hybrid that just didn't look like a luxury vehicle. Okay. You know, okay. so the, the XSE was the more sporty hybrid that you could get before, and this one's just a little downgraded version of that, so you don't. So hold on, this is hybrid as well? Yeah, this is also a hybrid. Yeah. Oh wow! It's literally the exact same vehicle, except this guy has the wheels. It's got the wheel, and it's got the. Wheel, and, it's the, got the and yeah, I love the black yes. trim. The black trim is nice on there. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So then, what's the what's the the point of getting the XLE then? <laughs> It's a, it's a style thing, you know? So it's like, I you wouldn't, 
how, how do I say this? Uh -huh. You wouldn't move from a minivan to an XSE, or excuse me, an SE. An SE, okay. Right? You would move from a minivan, like let's say I was a mom and, and my, my kids kind of just left the coupe. I don't need all that space anymore and you want so you, a, Okay. That's this guy. Okay, okay. And this one's more the sporty, hey, I yeah. want to show off a little bit. But you want, you want to have fun to too? $45,000. Yeah. That's so how much, all right, so how much is the SE? The SE, I, I think it was, uh, what's it, like 32? Oh, nice. Almost 32 or 33. Okay. And then this guy is right around 34 and a half. Okay, not so bad. So it's, it's not really much of a difference. The main things that you're going to see, again, is those trims. Right, right. Uh, this this looks a little bit more responsible. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Now, what's the gas mileage like on both? Right here, you're getting a combined of 40. Oh, so wow. That's, uh, 41 city, 38 highway. Uh-huh. Um, if you stay in that eco mode, actually, because I just drove that around to show all my family members and stuff like that. Right. So if you stay in eco mode, you can actually boast to right about, right around maybe 47, anywhere between 47 and 50. Wow. And what, like how many gallons? Like, do you know how much it, it, to fill I up? I don't know the, the tank size because okay. I got this full. And wow. all that driving that I did, I'm still... You still... Up. Up. <laughs> you still have it. Wow. Yeah, okay, okay. Yeah. Well, I know right now with how gas prices are, it takes mm -hmm. about 45 to fill up the um, the Mazda CX-5. Do you now, know how big that tank is? I think it's 12, either between 12 to 16 gallons, somewhere around there. Okay. Yeah. So, all right. So, I'm going to I'm gonna do a look comparison, guys, well, right? Do you think? Yeah. Just from a look comparison, uh, I'm gonna try to be actually Corey. Come here, let, let, me, let me because people are gonna think that I'm saying it just because. Yeah. <laughs> people gonna All right. think Which one do you think looks best? I don't. I don't okay, if we're if we're being 100% honest, uh -huh. I like this one over the XLE, right. but I would take the SE over this one all day. Okay, I'm 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 almost there with you. But I, I would take a black version of this. Okay, so yeah, yeah. If you had this in black, it'd yeah. be real. I don't know, man. Yeah. I don't know. Because yeah. I can't, I cannot knock the competition. This, yeah. this is a really good looking SUV. Yeah. So we'll get, all right, we'll give the looks to the CX-5, but we're gonna give the, the gas mileage obviously to the Rav4. The Rav4 yes, wins sir, all day. Yes, all right. So let's open up this bad boy and see what we're working with here. Oh. We didn't even get into interior yet, but let's see what we have with this one. All right, just from first glance, like aesthetically, mm -hmm. the CX-5 wins as far as looks to mm -hmm. me on the inside as well. But actually, this looks very nice and comfortable. So I haven't sat in it yet. Let me let me see. Just those settings a little yeah. bit. Yeah. Let's push to start. Okay, nice. So I'm gonna just drop this in here. All right. And okay. You can right, hop in and see. start her up. I'll hop in on the other side. All right. All right. I wasn't even sure it started because mm -hmm. it's so quiet. <laughs> I just did a video yesterday when I was dro as um, as I drove off the lot because uh -huh. I started it up and I forgot that it actually was a hybrid. So I hit the start yeah. button. Yeah. Sitting there like, Why like, did it start? Like, <laughs> <laughs> oh man. All right. So let me let's let's take her for a little cruise around the block, mm -hmm. and I'll, oh, actually, I'll hand here, this over me... to you. All right, so gas, everything. I mean, I like the, the gauge cluster. That's kind of mm -hmm. nice. And you got this right here. Sunglasses. Sunglasses holder. holder. Let's see if these are LED. Okay, nice. So these are LEDs, so that mm -hmm. is nice. I can't even remember if ours is LED or not. <laughs> Hold on, moment of truth. Okay, LED as well. All right, so that's nice. Okay, so it's nice in here. The thing that I'm not really feeling is that the steering wheel, like, like, uh, this is as high as it goes. Yeah. And you know, with my height issues, like, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, so if you're over a certain height, I'm not gonna say my height on camera, because. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but if you're over the, the six foot mark, it's probably, you're gonna be a little bit tight in here versus the, the CX-5. CX-5 is a little bit 
friendlier to taller people, I would say. But I still feel very comfortable, and, and if I had to, I could make this work, yeah? All right. All right, so let's get stuff here. I'll hold on to this. Wow, okay. That right there alone, I think I could feel that this pickup, feels, right? Yeah, that. Okay, this feels so let me faster than the CX5. Let me tell you what that is. Because there's the hybrid system in there, we right. have what's called instant torque. Right. So when you press the gas, you're you not giving that that rev up. Yes, yes. Instantly yes. there. Yes, that that is noticeable. Just from that, I didn't even really do much. Mm -hmm. Just gave it a little little touch, and you could feel it. All right, so let's see. Now you can hear the engine going. Yeah, so in, this is out. actually the display for where your power is coming from right now. Oh, so nice. you can see the engines on sending power to the electric motor to charge the battery. Nice. So you never have to plug this thing in. Uh, my wife is going to love this, but unfortunately we need a Sienna. So. Yeah, so <laughs> again, everybody's pre-ordering those things. They've yeah. been pre-ordered since last year, November. Okay, so the turn felt nice like it actually feels tighter than the last um rav4 that i test drove let's see don't know what that is in the road there uh -huh. trash bag yeah. right. i probably should have done this earlier but i'm gonna jump in the <laughs> <now>. <laughs> all right so, all right safety yeah. first yeah. just Ooh, so everybody right. knows uh, you missed the Ferrari, i did miss the oh yeah, yeah, we should have caught it, but it's all good. It's trying to do commentating. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's all good. Let's see now. Yeah, so we're right at this light. All right. Yeah, I would say this ride feels smoother than the CX-5. Mm -hmm. The CX-5 feels sportier. The, the CX-5, when you drive it, feels almost like a sports car. That's what it feels like. Oh, shit. Yeah. Okay. This feel, definitely feels like an SUV, like a nice, comfortable, smooth SUV. Like, that's what it feels like to me. I don't know. So, this definitely drives smooth. Like, I, I'll be honest with you. I think this drives smooth enough that if I'm taking this on a long drive, mm -hmm. I'm liable to fall asleep. <laughs> <laughs> It's that smooth. It is that smooth. Jeez. It is smooth and it's comfortable. And like I said, like it, you know, it does touch like my my legs, the wheel here. Mm -hmm. But other than that, like now you did put that as high as it. Can oh, look, the Ferrari again. Oh, oh, oh yeah, shoot! Yeah, there you yeah. go. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. See, I knew we would catch him. <laughs> as fast as he is, he's not as fast as a Rav Four. <laughs> 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 oh, that's perfect advertising yeah, right great there. Great marketing right there. <laughs> yeah, so let me give it a little. Yeah, that instant torque. That I mean, have you gotten tired of that yet, or are you? No, still, no. <laughs> no, absolutely not. The smallest I can go is an SUV. Wow. Okay. Because, um, like I said, I grew up driving those older style cars. Like they were super cars. heavy yes, and yes. big body and stuff like that. When I'm on 95 doing 85, right. if a wind gust catches me, it's not going to push me push into the, the next side. lane. Yeah, yeah, I yeah, feel yeah, like that yeah. happens in every sedan today. And yeah. I just, unfortunately, yeah. as good as they look, I'm just not comfortable driving them. No, I feel you. Yeah. I feel you. So uh, we're we're different in that regard. <laughs> like, <laughs> like I don't know. I, I stay getting into small vehicles. Don't ask me why. Oh, it's the next turn. Uh, the next one. Yeah. yeah. And let me see. The brakes are very very responsive. I almost feel like they have performance brakes on here. <laughs> yeah. I I would highly recommend this to anybody that wants to be a responsible adult and save on gas. Like the gas <laughs> mileage is the best selling point with this. You know Absolutely. What I mean? Like, and it's it's smooth, it's responsive, and it's, it's, I would say yours is probably the more fun vehicle. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but, but this is pretty awesome. Like, I like this. It gets two thumbs up from me. It's All hard right? to beat anything that gives you 40 to the, to the uh, gallon. To the gallon. All right. Now let's see what the reverse camera looks like. Okay. Reverse camera is kind of, it's clear. I would say, yeah, I would say the ver reverse camera beats out the CX-5. It's a little bit cleaner. Yeah, and is. I'm not sure if um, the CX-5 has this, but 
every vehicle on Toyota of Melbourne, or excuse me, not from Toyota of Melbourne, <laughs> every Toyota built right. after 2020 that has that backup camera also right. has rear cross traffic alert. Okay, yeah. So yeah. while you're going backwards, if, if, you're gonna, if there's a vehicle coming from the left or the right, will it'll it break? Beep, it'll beep for it'll you. Beep? Oh, okay, yeah. nice, nice. Yeah, we have that on the on the CH-5 as well. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna, let's do some comparisons, right? All right, no problem. Let's no Let's look at the, the glove box here. Oh. All right, nice big glove Decent box. Space. Yeah, and you got a little extra little cubby, little cubby right yes, there. Man. Got a cubby here. Okay, mm -hmm. so there's no wireless uh, phone charging there. Yeah, right? if you did, there would be like a button right here. And you oh, just put your okay, phone okay, there. okay. I love this. I love the shifter. The shifter yeah. feels real nice and sporty. Uh, you got your cigarette lighter there. Mm -hmm. So if you got if you want to run your radar detector, it's so easy. You can just run it here, plug it there, you're good to go. Um, yeah, this is nice. You got is this the sport mode? You can yes. put it. Okay, so let me see. So you see every mode that so you change. So that's eco. Yep. It's eco, and then that's sport, sport and there. then you press it in, and it goes back to normal. Okay, and then it goes back. So that's like where it's in the middle, right? Yeah. So, All right, so um, you press it, and it goes to normal. And then you can turn it this way and it goes into eco and then you can turn it this way and it goes into sport and it turns red mm -hmm. so that's actually pretty cool i'll give them cool points on that and then okay you got a huge center console here this is nice all right i'm liking all of this the only thing i don't like is it doesn't have the built-in uh, navigation yeah yeah that kind of sucks but AC, does it have dual? Dual yes. climate control. Yeah, dual yes, climate sir. control there. Okay, nice. And AC runs nice. What is this? Oh, that's your traction control. Nice. Yes, okay. All right, let's take a look at the back and see what it's like. No I'll turn problem. it off. Um, oh, wow, it has a RAV4 on the speaker. That's kind of cool. Oh, yeah, they all do that. Yeah, that's actually pretty nice. So... All right, so with the Mazda now, if you guys care about this, the Mazda, the the CX fives, the ones that I that I got, is a hundred percent built in Japan. Mm -hmm. This one, thirty five percent Canadian, U.S., Canada parts, and major sources of foreign parts is fifty percent, fifty five percent Japan. So if you guys care about that, that's how this one is. Um, okay. Back seat. Oh, you want to grab that? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Let me see. Let me see if I can sit behind myself. Ooh, okay, that sounded nice. All right. Uh, here we go. Oh. All right, so that's me trying to sit behind myself. It's not working out. <laughs> that's not working out. Can you sit behind there? Can I? Let's see. Uh, probably knees in your back. Oh, wow. Yeah, you fit. And it's not actually in your, that's in the back. But if right, you, right. And if you sit back, you, then... and you got good headroom, right? Yeah. All right, so and I got, got he got Yeah, he's and got it's, a, it's a whole lot either. of hair. It's not <laughs> touching. All right. So that works. Another thing that I like about the RAV4 that very few vehicles do is the gas tank cover. So, uh, right. yeah, go ahead. You pop it. Yeah, see? So he popped it. And that's how you open it. And then you close it back. Like that, that's your gas tank. Yeah. And a lot of people don't know this, but check it out again. You can actually put it right inside here. Oh, when yeah. you do your gas. Oh, why do you know that? <laughs> <laughs> he knows the secret. Yeah. Oh, shoot. All right, one click, nice. So your gas tank is somewhat protected. That's, mm -hmm. that's kind of cool. Um, this does have, it looks like a roof rack. Oh, you can add it. Okay. So these clips come out just like that. You can you can pop them right out, and right. then the roof rack goes right on. Goes on top. Okay. All right. Let's take a look at the trunk space now. All right. Wow. Okay. I think you're definitely winning at the trunk space with the Rav Four. Like right. a whole and lot of trunk space. You get your full. Oh, size nice! Spare. You got a full size spare as well. Nice. Changing kit in there, and then you have a privacy screen as well. Man. Okay. I gotta give, I got, yeah. So, hands down, the RAV4 wins with the back, the, the, well, the rear space, the trunk the space. Cargo space. Yeah, yeah, cargo space, it's, it's winning. Front seat, not as much. Back seat, let's take a look at the CX5, right? Now, Toyota and Mazda go about doing the, 
the entry different. Mm -hmm. So with Mazda, you have to hit that button. Now here's where the CX-5 is winning. You see the, the, the seats, we got the white leather seats. Okay. White leather on the side here. Okay. Bow speakers, you know, so we're winning in that regard, <laughs> you know? And, you know, it's definitely like tall people friendly here. Mm -hmm. um, we got the roof you, racks. Yeah, you got the same things here I see for yes. your roof racks. Yes, yes. And, oh, I always do this, I gotta, <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, so I won't be able to sit in the back here because I got the car seats in. Mm -hmm. But, yeah, there's like the car seats, we got both the car seats in there. And, oh, the space looks pretty decent, I think. But, I don't know. I don't, I don't think, can you see me sitting beside, I don't think I'll be able to sit behind myself. Yet. I didn't know. Yeah, yeah. And you probably wouldn't be able to sit there. I I can fit in a car seat. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, he said, I can make it work. <laughs> if I had to. Yeah, I feel you. So let me see now. So maybe the rare seat space is slightly better in the RAV4, I would say. But um, the interior itself, though, like, you know, the CX-5 is definitely winning with mm. the interior for the price point. Because I think they cost roughly around the same. I was like, just about to ask, um, what trim level is this? So this is the Grand Touring. Okay, so and was that, it was like around 34, 30, yeah, but it's the right, it's no, it's right before the top level. So there's okay. Grand Touring and then there's uh, Grand Touring Reserve and then right above that is the Signature. So yeah, so we're we're in the top, the top tier, but we're just, there, there's like two more right above it. And okay. some people prefer the Grand Touring over the Grand Touring Reserve. They're, they could be kind of lateral, you know? Okay. Yeah, okay, so so that, makes, so that would make this basically the exact same as an XLE premium. Yes, 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 okay. yes, yes. yes. Right. So yeah, but for for that same money, for this is like brand new. I think like thirty four, thirty five k. You get you know the leather seats, the Bose mm -hmm. sound system. Now, I didn't see. Does yours have this? Where it's one no, touch? That, okay. It, because it's the XLE, but the XLE premium does have that in. It okay. With the sunroof. And Got the it. Soft got it all right so oh man I, i'm gonna work so i'm gonna take out my stuff here because i need to take this stuff out anyway okay so let's do this i will put this down here for now yeah and i'll put this in the back of the rav4 just to give you guys a better sense I mean, yeah, the cargo area is huge. Yeah, <laughs> in here. I'm looking at it now. <laughs> I don't want to say that's about two times the amount because that would it's, be. It's a like, little... yeah, it's like I would say it's almost there, but not all the way two times. I the would amount. say like a quarter more space, like a full quarter. <laughs> you know, like let me let me just show you guys. <laughs> so putting my stuff in here like and this is not me putting it and making it neat or anything i'm just throwing it in there there's a lot more space in here you know in the in the rav4 and sorry about the mess guys but you know got kids but here's where the cx5 is winning we got a spear and a bose uh subwoofer <laughs> yeah we do got the subwoofer so subwoofer and then a little more cargo underneath and stuff but yeah if you look at the space the RAV4 has got to be like easily like without even trying <laughs> yeah you want to grab this real quick yeah i got Let you put all of this back in there grab one of these see thank you yeah, i gotta see, make everything look on me yeah <laughs> Let's see, we got one more. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. All right. So, there's there's a couple different areas of contention, but um, oh, your the your tripod. Oh no. I'm, oh, I'm you're keeping that. Okay, yeah. cool. So, we dip, we definitely have more tech and things here. Um, we do have the same safety features, I would say. Better cargo area uh, in the RAV4. I don't know. It's a toss-up, man. The, I think the edge, the the edging. If you needed to 
pick one or the other, the major contention point is the gas mileage. <laughs> I think that's Question. where the RAV4 wins. Do you get all of your safety features from base model all the way up? I believe so. I believe so. Because that's that's something that I'm not 100% sure about. Yeah. Either, but I know uh, Toyota. Toyota, Toyota does it on every vehicle. Literally the only safety feature that Toyota has to offer that's not on the base model is the blind spot monitor. Right. So okay. So yeah, we definitely we have blind spot monitoring. Right. Right. Now I'll show you something. If you want to come around on the other side. Like, or you can, or you can look at, you can see it here. I guess you can see it from this angle. Like, so with Mazda, start it up. Got the nice little graphics, saying mm -hmm. CX-5. Got the digital dash, and actually, I'm gonna probably have to lower the music. So it does take a while because it's an older system, mm -hmm. but it's loading. But once it finally <laughs> comes together, oh my God, this, take, this makes it look <laughs> bad. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, but we do have the navigation, the built-in navigation, and the sound system is amazing, you know? Now, you saw the backup camera in yours. Mm -hmm. let's, see, let's go again. The backup camera in here. I don't know. Which one would you say? Now, I think that you get a... It looks like the same sort of view, but the right. difference is this kind of looks fisheye. Yes, it is. It oh, is. Okay. Yes, yes. So then, so then the difference between this is is just the fisheye lens. Right. And we're probably getting more, a little bit more of an perimeter view than. Got it. Getting. Got it. Yes. Yes. I agree. This is a little bit more of a fisheye. Okay, but clarity wise, they're pretty much the yeah, same. Yeah, absolutely. That's that's clear as day. Right. I can't. I, again, I can't. Talk competition, <laughs> especially when they make a good product. Right. Right. All right. So, all right. My final review is that if you want to be fancy and get more bang for your dollar being fancy, then go for the CX5. If you want to be more responsible and and save money long term, especially. Uh, with the gas mileage and stuff, go RAV4. But he, not only gas mileage, Toyota has the lowest cost of ownership. Mm -hmm. um, so, how, how do how do I how do I say this so that everybody can understand? Um, if you was to break down in a Mazda and break down in a Toyota, and uh -huh. the exact same thing happened for both, right? You'd be paying about less. The the yeah. cost of ownership. I, I I have heard that, so I would agree with you. Cost of ownership is less in a Toyota, and especially if you get it at a place like Toyota of Melbourne, because you guys have that that lifetime powertrain warranty. Yes. Yes, yes. sir. So, okay. so that that in and of itself. So, if you guys want to get a, a Toyota, and if you especially, I'm probably. I don't quote me on this, but I'm probably going to end up getting a uh, GR Corolla. I'm going to quote you on that. <laughs> <laughs> right now. GR Corolla from yeah. Corey and Toyota Melbourne. You know, so if you guys want to want to get, come and order your, your GR Corolla, come see Corey. If you want to get any Toyota, come see Corey. He's, he's the guy. And he, I'm sure you guys get the vibe from him just seeing him on camera and seeing him in a video. Really awesome, really easy to work with, and very honest and straight up. So... You guys come check him out at Toyota Melbourne. And that's all I got to say about that. Corey, you got anything you want to add? Uh, no. Um... No. <laughs> <laughs> Took a while to say no, but yeah, but he got there. All right, guys, that's all we got to say about that. Race car friends out. We just had in a special delivery. It just came in. So, then all that, the public company that I'm only going through.